Hi friends, I'm Scott from Sharky's Greenhouses and Beat Your Neighbor Fertilizer, and today we're talking about this, tuberous begonias. And you know, we talk a lot about all the different plants and flowers that go in the sun, but some of you have shade at home, and this is one of the best, most beautiful flowers for shade or partial shade, and that's the tuberous begonias. What do they need as far as care? Well, like I just mentioned, they cannot go in that full sun, so they, they really like to have that partial shade to almost full shade. So if you have a, uh, a an overhang or a, a porch, a front porch, a back porch, or somewhere where that sun is not penetrating in, the tuberous begonias will do fantastic. And I also have these beautiful little homileus begonias and they have a smaller flower, smaller, more petite, but more flowers where the tuberous it has a great big, um, great big head on it. Now as far as cleaning them up, yeah, we do have to clean up our tuberous begonias because this great big flower, it's got a lot of moisture in it and, and you'll see it once it starts going, uh, what we don't want is for this to fall down into the foliage or into the soil. So we're going to go through and we're going to just nip it off and they're, they're kind of, they're kind of brittle and you just nip it off right here and just nip it right off. So when they're done, go ahead and get rid of it so that it's not juicing and it's like almost like a great big mushroom when it's when it goes it, it, it goes pretty um, uh, pretty quickly. But they do last a long time but you want to get that out of there. Now if you have any uh, any foliage that is in question, you know this one got something that you, and, and it just happens on tuberous begonia. If, if any of the leaves are in question just go through and take it out. This was just kind of looking looking funky and it might have got bumped or bruised or whatever. Go ahead and clip it and just take it out. So, but you know, there are other buds in here, so this this flower is gonna come right along. So, like I mentioned, there are a lot of different varieties with the uh, with the begonias. So we have these homilus begonias. So these have that more petite flower, but there's lots of flowers, and we do have to clean these up too. And when they're done, we're just going to go through and just kind of nip them off and, and take them. They, they're a little harder to tell on the, on the homilus, but you'll be able to tell on the fringes of the flower and once they start going down. Now if you want to put them in baskets, they look fantastic in a hanging basket. So this is a 12 inch hanging basket and I put five of the homilus uh, begonias in here and it turned out absolutely fabulous. I did not plant this very long ago. So it, it really took off and it looks great. So I put five five plants in here in a 12 inch hanging basket. And again, you can see here, there's a little bit of cleanup work that needs to be done. I'm just gonna take that off. Here's a leaf that, that's looking a little funky. I'm just gonna nip that right off and I'm just gonna kind of run my fingers through on these more petite flowers and just kind of ruffle and take that out wherever it needs to be done. And here I have a 10 inch hanging basket, so a little bit smaller than the 12 inch, and I just put three of the homilus begonias in here. And again, it looks fantastic and is really filling out nice. Now as far as watering, your watering needs to be just kind of moderate. Now remember that these are in shaded areas so they're not blowing through that moisture like a petunia or a geranium that's sitting in the hot blazing sun. So they don't drink quite as readily as, as those plants because they're not getting dried down because they're sitting more in the shade. So a lot of times you have to watch that watering that you don't go over watering. That happens a lot with begonias and, and containers and hanging baskets with begonias because if you get into a routine where you're watering, it's really easy to overwater them because they're not going through as much because they're more in the shade and they're more protected from that hot sun. So they don't go through as much moisture. So go through, check them, pick them up, stick your finger in that soil or use a moisture meter to read because that's really easy to overwater them. And begonias have a very delicate root system and it's very easy for those roots to rot down. And as far as fertilizing, we're gonna fertilize once a week with the Beat Your Neighbor fertilizer. You know, that fertilizer Friday is a great way to remember to go through and fertilize all your begonia baskets or your begonia containers just to keep them looking fabulous and popping those blooms out. 
And then we have a cute little planter here. This is Harry the Hippo. So this is up on our pool deck and he's under a uh, pergola so he, he gets the full shade. And I had just have one homilus begonia in there and it, and it looks absolutely beautiful. We, we laugh every time we look at them. But you know, if you have a smaller container like this, you probably just need one of the tuberous begonias or the homilus begonias in a smaller container like this. Hey, if you're liking our videos, please be sure to give us a thumbs up and to also follow us on Facebook and of course subscribe on YouTube. And then you can head on over to our BeatYourNeighbor.com website where we have lots of blog articles and tips and tricks on growing beautiful plants and flowers. And that's all over at BeatYourNeighbor.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.